Welcome to Brainstorm, where we give you a glimpse into the world of science for this Friday, January 13th, 2012. Our top story comes from the world of physics. A scientist from Washington University in St. Louis and collaborators have findings that counter a recent reporting of faster-than-light neutrinos. For some background, the OPERA experiment is a collaboration between CERN and an Italian laboratory. Basically, CERN smashes some protons generating a pion pulse. The resulting neutrinos are magnetically directed to a detector in Italy and reportedly arrived 60 nanoseconds sooner than if they were traveling at light speed. If confirmed, this would require a total rethinking of special relativity affecting all of physics. But this is incredibly unlikely based on data from the largest detector of naturally occurring neutrinos. Essentially, the more energy a pion has, the longer it lasts, and gives less of that energy to the neutrino when it does decay. So not only would faster-than-light neutrinos be nearly impossible to produce, but if they did exist, they'd rapidly radiate energy and decelerate. We now turn to the field of engineering for a quick update. DARPA is funding a project to create hybrid insect microelectromechanical systems. The idea is to use insects for search and rescue applications for areas too small or dangerous for humans. The team working on the project is from the University of Michigan and they've already been successful at harnessing kinetic energy from green June beetles. New technology has been designed to draw power from the beating of the beetle's wings and then use that for devices like miniature cameras and microphones. Test flights of these hybrid insects plan to happen next year, and once this technology is perfected, it could have even more applications, such as reconnaissance or environmental analysis of hazardous areas. Our final story comes from the world of technology. Researchers at Purdy University have created what is called a passive optical diode. These diodes allow for the one-way transfer of optical signals, which is essential for information processing. Right now, optical signals are mainly used to transmit large amounts of information, but must be translated into electrical signals before any processing can take place. This translation from optical to electrical signals is a major limiting factor in terms of processing speed. The diodes are small enough to be easily integrated into computer chips and should be commercially available soon, allowing for the enhancement of supercomputers and similarly networked devices. Well, hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please consider subscribing and be sure to check the links in the video description.